In this problem, we have a thin-walled spherical pressure vessel, or an end of a cylindrical pressure vessel, with a wall thickness of 0.01 meters, and an inside diameter of 0.5 meters, and a gauge pressure inside the pressure vessel of 207 kilopascals. We want to find the stress caused by the pressure for the spherical pressure vessel, and the stress happening longitudinally on the cylindrical pressure vessel. In order for the formulas I'll be using to work, the wall thickness must be less than one-tenth the radius of the pressure vessel. This classifies it as a thin-walled pressure vessel. Now the way pressure works is that it exerts a force over an area in all directions. So in this case, it is exerting a force of 207,000 newtons over an area of meter squared. So for every meter squared of area inside the tank, there is a force of 207,000 newtons acting on it. Now we want to find the force that is pushing the tank apart, so we are really only interested in the pressure that is acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane. So we can take the pressure times the internal cross-sectional area, or internal radius squared, times pi, to get the force that is pushing the tank apart. Or in other words, the force that is acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane. So we know that stress is force over the cross-sectional area of the material that makes up the tank. So if we multiply that times the cross-sectional area of the material that makes up the tank, we get a force that is acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane. Recall from the previous slide that if we take the pressure times the internal cross-sectional area, we get the force that is acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane. So altogether, we get that the force acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane minus the force acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane equals zero. Now we will have to do some rearranging of formulas. First, we will add the pressure times the area to both sides of the equation to get it to the other side of the equal sign. Then we will divide both sides by the cross-sectional area of 2 times pi times the inside radius times the thickness. Note, this is not the exact cross-sectional area, but it's pretty close and is commonly used when finding the stress of a thin-walled pressure vessel. Now we have the stress to one side, so we can start reducing the formula. We notice that pi and one of the internal radiuses are canceled out, so we are left with pressure times the internal radius over 2 times the thickness equals stress. For our final step, we can plug in our pressure of 207 kilopascals, our internal radius of 0.25 meters, and our wall thickness of 0.01 meters. We get a pressure of 2,587,500 pascals. For the stress of a spherical pressure vessel, or the longitudinal stress of a cylindrical pressure vessel. That concludes this video. Hopefully I earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Thank you for watching.